If you're on your pediatric clerkship or studying for the shelf or step 2CK, knowing the pediatric developmental milestones is exceedingly high yield. Here's our remember the fine motor skills in a pediatric patient that typically shows up on your NBME questions as an arrow question. I call this the PlayStation mnemonic. As you can see, this is a PlayStation controller that has different shapes. And this controller helps us remember what shapes pediatric patients should be drawing and at what age. So if you pretend this is a clock and start at the three o'clock position, at three years old, a child should be able to draw a circle. Moving clockwise at four years old, a child should be drawing an X. Remember, there are four points to an X, so that's another mnemonic. At four and a half, a child should be able to draw a square. And the last shape that a pediatric patient may be able to draw is a triangle, and that comes at five years of age. All right, just for some bonus points, let's go through some of the gross motor milestones. Remember at one year of age, a child is going to be walking. This is an NBME favorite. And at three years of age, a child is going to be able to ride a tricycle. Not surprisingly, three years of age, tricycle. To wrap up pediatric developmental milestones, I'm going to finish with two key points. Number one, like I mentioned, the USMLE likes to give you these developmental milestones in the form of arrow questions, but they're not trying to trick you. They're going to make it egregiously obvious if there is going to be some sort of developmental delay. We just talked about the fine motor and the gross motor developmental milestones. However, let's say that there is some sort of speech abnormality. For example, at two years of age, the child is not putting two phrases together. The USMLE Step 2 CK loves for you to know that the next best step in management is a hearing evaluation because sometimes deafness can cause you to have especially speech or language delay. Hope you found this helpful and follow me for more USMLE content to help you think like the test maker.